Welcome to my new home. Hello you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be posting some good videos and there's going to be a moving series, so hit that subscribe button. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining a lot. I'm going to be giving my new house tour and I feel like I just have a lot to explain since I just kind of came back from traveling and I didn't fill you guys in really. If you're new here, basically a few months ago, I posted a video and I explained that I am going to go traveling with my boyfriend, Joel. We had gotten kicked out of our apartment since the landlord was moving in. So we ended up just taking that as a sign to pick up and travel. We sold like half of our stuff and we went traveling for like three months. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering why we're back and why we decided to stop traveling. Cause in that video, I was just kind of saying how we're gonna do it indefinitely. And we didn't really have a plan. We just kind of planned our first few months and then we were like, okay, depends how we feel after this and what's gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, we loved Europe and it was like so amazing seeing, you know, different parts of the world and traveling. But at the end of the day, we realized that we prioritize having a home base. We just really miss that sense of comfort and it's also really nice knowing that all of your belongings and all of your stuff is like in one place and there's really no place like home. Living in Airbnbs just didn't do it for us in that aspect and we really missed our friends, we really missed our family and most of all, honestly, we just missed having a home base. And it's just really cozy and comfortable knowing that after every vacation, you just have a place to come back to. And we had our parents' houses to come back to technically, but it's not like it's the same, like it's not our own home base like we had our apartment. So what we're gonna be doing now going forward is we're gonna be still traveling while having this home base. So we're just gonna plan on going on more vacations and stuff like that instead of just living out of a suitcase because it gets exhausting. You kind of get burnt out from traveling. And especially when you're living from a suitcase, it's like such a different type of lifestyle. Technically we were like luxury traveling, staying in Airbnbs, like we weren't staying in hostels or anything, so it was pretty luxury, but we just missed home, honestly, and like we didn't have a car, so we couldn't just like go anywhere whenever we wanted to. We had to rely on Ubers, and it just like wasn't the same as being home. We just missed our daily routines. I'm a routine-oriented person, and so is Joel, and we just like thrive being together in our home base, thrive being in our routines, and that's when like we manifest the most. We're just at our peak in that sense when we have our home base. And so we just felt like we really missed that and all the traveling was amazing and I would do it over and over again. Now we're just stepping into a new chapter of our life and what we realized is it's really important to go on more vacations because it kind of resets everything when you come back. If you're getting bored of your daily routines, I would really suggest to just like go on a, even like a couple of days like staycation or something. And then once you come back, you really appreciate your daily routine more. And cause it's like easy to get kind of, I guess, bored of your everyday life. But if you like switch things up and go on vacation once in a while, if you can afford to do that, then it's really beneficial. And like, I think that's the part that we were lacking beforehand. So we definitely learned a lot from traveling. Like there are so many things, like we learned a lot. We got scammed a couple of times. Like so many things happened on these, this trip that taught us a lot and yeah it's something we've always wanted to do is just like travel and go to europe see the world so yeah so that's basically the explanation on why we stopped traveling as for the apartment hunting we really wanted to upgrade our space and get a bigger apartment than we last lived in so our old apartment was a two bedroom two bath it was around like over 800 square feet and the only problem that there was with that apartment was there just was not enough storage for us both like i have a lot of clothes and we just kind of have a lot of belongings or at least like i just have a lot of stuff and there was very limited storage space in that place and it just felt like it came to a point where we just didn't know where to put anything and so moving forward we're like oh my gosh why don't we get like a house i just feel like we can really grow into this space now and we did see a few apartments i'll show them up on the screen right now they were beautiful don't get me wrong we could definitely potentially see ourselves living in there but it just like wasn't doing it for us like it just didn't feel right getting another apartment that, that was the same layout same square footage same amount of storage it just like didn't feel right and we knew that we kind of wanted to upgrade and we're just homebodies like at the end of the day we are major homebodies and so we spent like 90 percent of our time at home 
And if we have the means to do it, I mean, why not just get a bigger space? So we decided on this place and it's funny how it worked out because this is like a brand new complex here. When we saw the listing for one of them, we went to go see it and it was really beautiful. We applied and we actually didn't get it. We were really disappointed, but then a few days later, this listing came up again, but it was a different unit like in the same complex. And we hopped on that. We were like, oh my gosh, like we please come see it right away. So we went to go see it right away. We applied and we got it so <laughs> at first we were just really discouraged because we we're like oh maybe it's not meant to be but we actually like this house better than the last one because it's against like the trees and everything so we have like a really nice view of the forest on this side which is like so nice and that wasn't the case in the other place so everything's meant to be everything happens for a reason so we we're just kind of riding that wave but yeah we landed in like the perfect space and we're so happy and excited for this new chapter and yeah we upgraded to a little house which is really exciting thank you so much for listening to this intro if you're still here with me and i'm so excited for this new chapter and thank you guys so much for your support constantly and get excited for the moving series yeah we're just so happy to be here and grateful and excited to get back kind of like on a grind so anyways i hope you guys enjoy the video hello you guys so first of all i just want to point out there is bad eczema here happening on my neck so don't mind that it's really irritated right now and it's super red but besides the point i'm just trying to ignore it but anyway so we are going today to go to home depot to get some boxes for the move because the boxes that we bought are in the recycling and we didn't save them because we had no idea we would be moving this soon again and we're just going to kind of run a couple errands today like my car needs an oil change tire change but there's a lot of moving stuff to do today and it's going to be a very productive day because I want to get boxes and then I want to start somewhat moving our kitchen stuff so if I can get a couple boxes packed today that will be huge and then we're going to continue throughout this week just like packing but I'm going to try to do it as slowly as possible we're not going to move all in one day what we're going to try to do is since we get the keys tomorrow we're going to slowly move our stuff over because we can't actually live there and move in until Sunday because that's when the lease starts but she's just being nice to giving us the keys early so that we can order stuff there and just like you know move slow so that's what we're gonna be doing and yeah damn we already got the keys tomorrow i didn't even like realize that until i said it out loud but anyways yeah so that's the plan for today day one of moving i guess you could say we have done nothing so far so wish us luck so we ended up coming to canadian tire instead of home depot just because it's more local so we didn't want to drive all the way to home depot and we searched it up and they actually have moving boxes here so it's perfect I just don't know how many to get. That's the thing. Last time we were moving, we underestimated how many boxes we would need and we had to actually come back, which isn't the biggest deal, but we kind of want to try to do it all in one go. But since we're probably we'll driving back and forth anyway. But yeah, I was going to say, we're probably going to come back anyways, but. No. Let's get eight. Okay, get eight. Okay, got the boxes. And we are off. Good to go. They barely fit in there. I also got some hubcaps for my car because mine fell off. I'm currently in my parents' loft. This is like considered the room above the garage and we have like kind of like a little kitchen here. So when me and Joel moved out of our apartment and into the house again before we traveled, we actually just put our kitchen stuff in this kitchen because there wasn't really much in here. So that's our espresso machine. Those are our containers and a lot of the things in this kitchen are me and Joel's. So we need to repack everything from this kitchen. So if you guys are confused like why we're packing up this kitchen and where this is, this is in my parents' house. But anyways, besides the point, we need to pack up our kitchen stuff from here. That is the first stage that we're gonna do. I just wanna get the kitchen stuff out of the way since it's stuff that we don't really use right now anyways. So let's get packing.
we just did a bunch of work and this is all our kitchen stuff basically in these boxes which is super nice and then on the side here we just have some stuff that didn't fit so we got the espresso machine the juicer couple pans here and then just the juicer head but we we're just thinking that we're gonna take these all separately and not put them in boxes just to make it easier and then we can save boxes that way yeah i'm really happy everything fit into one two three four five six boxes which is pretty nice so i feel really accomplished doing the kitchen and thankfully that is all done i'm finally just gonna call it a day because i'm so tired i'm honestly so sweaty and i need a good shower moving it takes it out of you like you would underestimate how much effort and energy it takes to move and pack and you also underestimate how much stuff that you have and then it takes you like double the time it's actually supposed to take you but yeah i'm just like so tired and i deserve a self-care little night so I'm gonna take a shower and I'm so excited because Tree Hut is actually sponsoring today's video and I'm gonna use their new Ocean Glow collection. So this is their Ocean Glow Sparkling Gel Wash. So this is body wash. That's the first step. And the second step is exfoliate. This is their She Sugar Scrub and it makes my skin so smooth. Exfoliation is so important. I feel like so many people look past it but I love Tree Hut's exfoliants. I've been honestly using them for such a long time, but this trio, you guys, is magical. Third step is moisturizer. This is their Ocean Glow Whipped She Body Butter. Mm, it makes my skin so soft and I come out of the shower and I just feel so fresh and I smell so good. So these products actually include such good ingredients, one of them being hyaluronic acid, which really hydrates your skin and also boosts your skin's elasticity. Another ingredient it includes is green micro algae. And what this does is it moisturizes it improves your texture and tone also they include rainbow algae which brightens and it makes the skin just so luminous so i'm gonna go shower using these amazing products and if you guys want to shop them you can click the link in my bio shop them at ulta but yeah thank you so much to tree hut for sponsoring today's video i cannot wait to shower again with these products because i deserve it after a long day of moving and there's so much more moving to come so i need to treat myself to a little spa experience so yeah let's go shower there's a situation with my room. Um, I have stuff everywhere, honestly, because I never fully put everything away just because I knew that I'd be moving soon. So I have a couple boxes here. So I think right now I'm gonna unload my Alex 9 drawer just to get that over with and put everything in boxes and then we'll just go from there. Officially starting my room. Just finished packing this drawer up. Joel just brought the boxes to the car, so now we're gonna bring this into the van and load it up. Okay guys, so we are just on the way to go pick up the keys and then we're gonna do a walkthrough. So as I said, we're getting the keys a few days early so that we can start moving our stuff in, which is really nice, but we're not actually gonna move in until Sunday. So it is day two of moving now, technically since we started packing yesterday. But as you can see, we got a carload of stuff to bring in so at least we could get something done today. But yeah, we're really excited to do the walkthrough because I don't know, we just get to see the house again, which is really nice. So excited to get the keys and it's such a beautiful day but yeah I'll update you guys Here is the state of the garage. <laughs> if this isn't overwhelming, you guys, I don't know what is. Like, I am just so overwhelmed right now. I know we're gonna do it and it's fine, but like, this just looks like so much stuff to bring all the way upstairs. <laughs> but it's okay, it's gonna get done surely. Short but sure, what's that expression? Not short but surely. Surely but what? Surely but short, maybe. <laughs> Some, something like that. Anyways, yeah, this is the state of the garage, but it's okay. We're gonna get it done. At least we have a garage. It's That's true. Yeah, this is really nice how it's like in the garage hidden. So blessed and a little bit stressed. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. Welcome to my new home. I guess I'll give you a tour while you're here. So, I mean, come on in. 
Okay, so when you walk in, this is the front door right here and we get a little entrance way now, which is really cool. So this is actually the door to the garage, which we're not gonna go in, it's just basically a huge garage filled with boxes right now. So that's just gonna stay shut, but the garage is right here and then the entry door is right behind. And then there's just stairs that go straight up. Okay, so when you walk up the stairs, you come right here and this is the dining room area. So as you can see, there's a pretty big space here for a dining room table, which is nice. I was thinking of getting a circular table just because I feel like it's gonna fit this space really nicely um, if it's a circle. Since the island is already square, I'm thinking of switching this up and putting a circular table, but we'll see. Please let me know if you guys have any suggestions on like how to furnish this place because I barely bought anything yet, so I'm gonna need some help. But yeah, we have some nice two windows here that look out to some nice trees and I really love how on the windows, they're kind of old style and they have like that, you know, the cross like that. It's kind of like farmhouse vibes, but I really like it. Over here, there's just a sliding door and we have a little balcony, which I'm not gonna show you because I'm gonna try to be secretive of my location. And then you turn over here and this is the half bath. So you can take a look inside. And then you turn around directly in front of the bathroom. There is a nice size closet in our apartment. We had literally like our closet was this small, like it was so tiny, our coat closet. So it's nice how we can like put shoe racks in here or something, but it's just a nice extra space to have. And then over here is the main event, which is the kitchen. This kitchen is so big, you guys, like the island. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is like, Probably like two of my arm widths can fit across it. Like this is probably like a 10 foot, maybe even 12 foot island. It's huge. So there's gonna be lots of cute recipe cooking videos, I guess, which is exciting. But I really love just how the kitchen is sleek and modern and still kind of gives like a slight farmhouse vibe. I love it. Like the window here, how it's like the same style. I'm just obsessed with the windows. And this is the new, Everything in this um, house is new, by the way, like no one's ever lived in it. So the appliances are brand new. Like there's stickers that are still inside the fridge, which is just really cool and nice how everything is new. Also, this place is 1500 square feet, just for reference. Walk in the kitchen here, you have the nice dishwasher, the sink, and then the stove. I really like this gray marble black backsplash. I just like, yeah, how the cabinets are super sleek. I'm pretty sure these are like the same exact cabinets we had in our apartment, just like these white ones with no knobs. I like how it's like seamless. Yeah, and there's a bunch of storage like under the island here. And then over here, you walk into the living room. So the couch is gonna be right against this corner. We already ordered one and we're obsessed with it. So hopefully that comes soon. Apparently it's gonna be here in like a week. So it's gonna go just against this wall here. And then we're gonna put our rug with our like coffee table. And then the TV is gonna be mounted on this mantel here. And there's a nice cozy electric fireplace, which is really nice to have. And it's gonna be nice how we're gonna have the TV mounted because in our apartment, we never mounted it. So yeah, we already have a TV, which is nice. So basically the living room I already got everything for, which is nice. So that's already planned out. But again, I'm obsessed with these windows here how they just like outlook the forest and how they're just so farm style. Like I just love them and like the shape of them. So cute and it's just gonna look so aesthetic in here. But yeah, so this is the main living, I guess, area slash space. It's so spacious and it just kind of seamlessly flows and I love how it's just so open concept. But yeah, so let's go upstairs because this is three floors. The first floor is the garage and the entryway and then second floor is the main living area and then the third floor is just like the bedrooms and laundry and then two bathrooms. This place is three beds, three baths, by the way. Okay, so then you walk in right from the stairs to the master bedroom and it's just like, it's a pretty decent size, honestly. It's bigger than our one in our apartment, like by a lot. So at least you can like walk around the bed comfortably, but we're just gonna keep the queen because it's not like huge. So we were thinking about upgrading to a king, but I honestly think it's gonna be most comfortable with the queen in here. Everything is carpeted, which I don't mind at all because it kind of makes the space feel more cozy up here. But anyway, so you walk over here and this is like, the master ensuite, I think it's called, but there's two closets. This is the first one, and then this is the second one, which is really nice how there's two. This one's a little bit bigger, so we're gonna have to fight for the closets. But then you walk 
over here and this is the ensuite bathroom and i'm obsessed with this bathroom like the marble on the walls and on the floors is just so beautiful and i'm gonna install three or four i forget what kind of pack i got but i'm gonna install some acrylic shelves here for like skincare which will be really cute because these mirrors don't open but they do light up which is really nice um and then there's just like lots of storage beneath the cabinets here and also under here which i'll probably get some cute bins or something and then on this side is just the shower which is really cute and i love how this marble is just like all throughout the bathroom so that is our nice master bath and then coming out of the master bedroom you walk down this hall and to the right you have the guest bath it's pretty nice i mean nothing like spectacular but we're gonna have to put a curtain potentially i'm probably just gonna mostly use this bathroom for like taking a bath but it would be nice to have a curtain just in case we have like guests also, there's a couple deficiencies. Like, as you can see, this door is kind of like, you know, nicked. Since this is a brand new place, we're gonna have to like tell them all the deficiencies so that they can like fix them because everything's under warranty. But, anyways, so yeah, there's really nice storage here, which will be probably all overtaken with my products. So, and then right across the spare bath, there is the laundry. So, full size laundry um machines i was kind of hoping that there was going to be like a separate laundry room just to have more space to store like cleaning products which there's not kind of sucks but i'd rather compromise that and have like an extra bedroom so it's whatever but cute nice little laundry up here and then right to the right of that this is one of the spare bedrooms this is going to be joel's office because the closet is a bit smaller in this one than it is in the other one so i'm going to let him have creative freedom whatever he wants to do in this office because i'm basically designing our whole living area because he doesn't really care he mostly just wants it to look good so i'm kind of taking creative control of that he can have creative control of his office which is nice because we're each going to have our own like separate bedrooms to design how we want like mine's going to be a glam get ready with me room his is just going to be an office so it's super nice how we each have our own space now and we can be like creative in our spaces rather than having to share that spare bedroom which it wasn't bad sharing like don't get me wrong but it's just really extra nice how we just have our own rooms but yeah anyways so you walk out and this is gonna be mine okay so let me know if you have any suggestions on what to do because i haven't really thought about this much like i've been looking on pinterest but i'm still not sure what i want to do with this room exactly yet but i want it to be my closet slash like get ready with me room so there's gonna be a lot of filming done in this room i'm gonna get changed in this room do my makeup like i want my jewelry out in this room so let me know down below what you think i should do like in terms of the layout of this room i'm thinking clothing rack but i don't even know definitely gonna be a vanity against the window here if you're coming so i'm definitely gonna put my vanity like against the window um but then as for these two walls i was thinking maybe like a mounted clothing rack i'm not sure what to do so please help me out and then maybe a dresser but i'm gonna need some help because i'm not an interior designer i'm just like looking off pinterest for ideas yeah i still have to think about this room but i'm so excited to have like my own room that i can just decorate however i want it's gonna be nice and then the closet is a bit bigger in this one so that's why i'm taking it but it's a nice like full-size little closet or you know i have a lot of clothes so it's it's nice how there's like a lot of closets in this place but yeah so that's basically it and just to walk you through it again if you just go down this hall that's the master bed so there's just one bedroom on this side and then the two um spare beds with the bathroom is there but yeah so that is the empty house tour we're so excited that we have all this extra space to do so many cool things so like i said a million times please let me know down below if you guys have any ideas because i need them yeah we're so excited and we're so grateful thank you so much for watching this video that was the house tour i hope you guys enjoyed 